Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in my little blacksmith shop. Now, I know uh, one or two of you commented that the video was a little, uh, mm, little, a little shaky last time, so I, I turned down my view distance and I did some testing. I'm using air quotes here again, and it seems like everything's okay. But again, let me know down in the comments if you see anything funky with the video. Uh, I will obviously check when I'm editing it, but please, please, please let me know because I want to make the best content I can make for you guys. I know I'm super small right now, but the only way to get bigger is to produce quality content like I'm one of the big boys. Uh, so again, thank you so much for joining me today. My goals today are I want to go ahead and build ourselves a pickaxe because I want to do a little mining and the mines are right behind our house and I don't think we toured them last time and it's raining out so we might not be able to see them, but the mines are back there. And we'll go see those after we build ourselves a nice pickaxe. So I've got three copper bars on the forge. And let's go ahead and get those nice and warm so we can craft ourselves an axe head here. Now, if you go and read the wiki, and this kind of makes sense, whatever material you use to create your pickaxe is what you can mine with and below. So like today we're going to be making a copper pickaxe. Uh, but there are different minerals, different ores out there that we could get. So like iron's the next level. So in order to get iron, at least from what I'm understanding, and obviously if you guys know something different, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, but from my understanding is we will not be able to mine iron ore with our little pickaxe here. And we want a double pickaxe head. Um, so we won't be able to do that. So we'll, I think... By my reading that, we have to buy iron ingots. Uh, again, guys, let me know in the comments. I tried to figure out how it works in the wiki, um, but the wiki I was using, I mean, it, it's extensive, don't get me wrong. Oops, and let's change that back. Um, excuse me. It's extensive, but I, I just didn't, maybe I didn't read the right page or something like that. So let's go ahead and cool our pickaxe there. Perfect. So we've got our copper pickaxe head, and we're going to come back into our little shop. And I've got the grip right there, and we're going to pick the grip up. There we go. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves our uh, copper pickaxe, and we're going to go ahead and equip that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go mining. Out into the rain we go. So there's our horse and carriage, or horse and cart, if we wanted to take that. And I'm going to go ahead and run. I know it's raining, you can't quite see everything, but you kind of see the door peeking through there. And I think, <clears throat> excuse me. Wow, excuse me again. Uh, I think this is the main mine, uh, or this is where at least most of your basic starting minerals are. So let's go find ourselves some copper. And I did a little exploring, and we'll, we'll explore the entire mine together, but I think there's some copper just right here in the entrance. Here we go. Um, copper ore, quality, a uh, bunch of question marks. So let's go ahead and mine that. Uh, let's see, hold E to move. Uh, right mouse to carry, um, place and smelter to make ingots. Okay, cool. So does that respawn, I wonder? Oh, 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 maybe not. I think that's why we need to bring our horse and carriage up here because this would take forever for us to carry this all back one by one. Uh, so let's just go ahead and mine a few chunks and then I will um, cut and then we'll bring the horse and carriage back. Now what's this? Use left of use pickaxe. Um, mm, that got deleted. Let's just try this. That got deleted. So we're not going to do that anymore because I don't, I don't know what that is. Let's just go ahead and get the copper ore. Okay, level up. Now last time the level up screen wasn't working. Let's see if it's working now. And there we go. Um, the book is working. So our name is Blacksmith and I don't like that. Uh, let's get this to the proper hero's name. And as you guys can probably guess, our proper hero is Toothbud because that is our cool guy. Uh, let's see, we're level 3, experience, we need 225 more experience for the next level. We only have one star of reputation, but it looks like we're working our way up. We've got one, two, three, four traits. So there's strength, which uh, decreases hit on an anvil. That'd be pretty good. Speed increases movement speed. Charisma increases sale price. And determination uh, increases quality for object created on anvil. Okay, cool. Uh, and let's see what do we got over here. Fatigue, so we're 13 out of 17. Horse position, player position, and adventurer position. Okay, so let's go ahead and increase charisma 
for our first point to use. There we go. And then let's also go ahead and increase. Do I want to increase speed? Yeah, let's go ahead and increase speed. All right, nice. So we are now a level three blacksmith. And we broke that piece of iron ore out. Um, I know I keep saying this, but let me know if you guys know what these are. It looks like crystals, and you think I'd be able to mine it, but I, I just don't know. So let's go ahead and get this piece of copper ore. This one's taking a few swings, huh? Or is my pickaxe broken? Uh, what about this piece here? Can we get this piece? There it goes. All right, so my pickaxe is working, obviously. And it's just taking a few extra swings to mine all this out. Swinging away, swinging away. Yes, we are. Uh, ooh, where'd that piece? Oh, there it is. All right, let's go ahead and uh, carry this piece out. And we'll take this up here. Do, do, do. Drop this guy right there. What's this say? Quality two, quality one. And back down in here we go. And I think I had one more piece on the ground, right? Yep. All right, let's pick this guy up and take him out. And back up here. Oh, this door fell down. That's what this is. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, the campfire over here. Do we got anything over here? Looks like a little platform we can put something on if we wanted. Uh, and I think I read in the wiki that there's some, some minerals or something. I thought it said follow the wall to the left and you'd see some copper over here somewhere. So let's just go this way and see if we run across. Ah, here we go. Looks like there's uh, some copper out here. Very nice. Let's... uh. Let's go ahead and mine this. There we go. Quality three. And quite a few strikes to get this one. That's okay. Um, let me know uh, what other games you guys are playing right now. I like uh, this game. Don't know how many videos I'll do of it just because there's not a full campaign. Uh, I'll probably do one or two more videos. We can make some more cool weapons. But always looking for suggestions. I know Satisfactory and... Um, what was the other one? Subnautica were suggested. I just don't know if my computer can run that. So we'll have to, to see. So we got that one mined. And hopefully we can mine this one here soon. I feel like some of these I can't quite mine yet. Maybe my pickaxe isn't strong enough or my character isn't strong enough. It seems like I can only mine these little ones. Let me get a little closer here. And we're still... There we go. Okay, so we got that one. And I don't see anything else. Looks like we got a couple pieces here. Uh, all right, let's go explore the mine a little bit now that we've done a little bit of mining I think there's a door down here if I remember correctly from what I was reading There's like a a door we can unlock after we find a certain Crystal I, I think it was like the earth crystal or something like that. So let's head back down here Past the little ore we were mining. Here's some more crystals and here we go. Yeah, here's the door. I was thinking of um, Interesting environment uh, what do we got over here? Looks like there's a big old crystal in the wall and zinc ore, zinc ore. That's all zinc. What do we got here? This is more zinc. Okay. So some ores over there. What do we got over in this corner? Is this coal? Got coal. Or I think we can mine coal because we're going to need coal to, yeah, quality 100%. So I think we need coal to use the furnace to smelt the copper ore. All right, so we'll have to come back and get some more coal ore here. Now, let's see what this guy says. He's got anything to say to us? No, he's not not saying anything. That's all right. Um, so I think, like I said, it looks like it keeps going. Oh, there's a chest back there. Uh, we need a crystal or something, and you can see there's three. Maybe, maybe three? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to do more reading. Again, let me know down in the comments. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut here. I'm going to go get the horse cart and bring it back up. And then once I do that, we can take the ore back to our little house. So I'll see you guys on the other side of the cut. All right, we are back. So I brought our horse cart up here and I got our minerals gathered up. So let's go ahead and start stacking everything in there. Now, is there like a, a gate in the back? I wonder if we... Oh, it looks like we can open that. So let's drop that and um, use left mouse button to open that. Oh, okay, fantastic. So we're going to throw our copper in here. One little piece in there, kerplunk, and our coal in there as well. And let's get that in there. There we go. Two pieces in. Getting excited to smelt this down and make ourselves our own free copper, even though it cost us three, uh, three copper bars and a handle to gather all this up. But obviously, as we progress, 
this will allow us to probably save some money because I saw like a silver bar is almost, um, or not a silver bar, excuse me, an iron bar is one silver. And I think uh, 1,000 pieces of copper is one silver because we've got like 200 and whatever copper right now. So you think if it was like 250 copper, it'd be like two silver and 50 copper. So let's close that back up. And then what's uh, cargo, uh, let's uh, lock. So I don't think it'll go flying out now. So let's hop on in our wagon and get back home in our little horsey here. And it is a ooh, little uh, interesting driving it. It's not the uh, smoothest of drive. We're definitely not driving a Rolls Royce or a, a Phantom or anything like that. So let's head on back home and you can see it right there in the distance. Right there, and we're gonna swing the horse around like this. It does have a really good drift. You can see that. Yes, look at it turn on a dime, just like that. All right, and let's park right there. Perfect. And it is getting kind of dark, so I think before we do our smelting, I will go to bed. And once I wake up, we'll go ahead and do some smelting. So I'll see you guys on the other side of the next cut. All right, we're back. I have everything moved over. So we got our one, two, three, four, five copper here, and then uh, some coal over here. So to get your smelter running, we put a little smelter or little fuel in here. So let's drop that there. And then we're going to go ahead and put our copper in the top, I think, up here. And what I was reading online is that you could put all your ores in there. Let's say we had iron ore and tin ore and all that fun stuff. So even if we have all of that in there, we still get to select what's made. So like if you were to mix tin and copper, you would get bronze, right? But if you just select on your output a copper bar, it would only use the copper to make a copper bar. And then the iron and tin would still be there. So that's nice. So you can kind of use this as a, a little storage or you don't have to worry about, ooh, am I going to waste a bunch of materials doing this? No, you're fine. So all right. So there is one, two, three, four, five copper in. And let's go ahead and select our output. And that's going to be copper bars. And we've got 40 fuel uh, uh let's see how this works so let's go ahead and heat everything up and it is heating and 30 percent 50 percent almost there almost up to 100 so now we can go ahead and start smelting and here comes our bars okay that's pretty cool and almost done all right one bar so we oh we could take this all the way to the anvil if we wanted to shape it right now but we're not in the market to start doing that. So let's just go ahead and drop that right there. So that would be an efficient process if you just smelted it and then brought it right back there. So we started with 40 and now it is to 24 and that took one piece of copper. Smelter is cold, please heat up. So let's go ahead and heat it up. Uh, what did it say? No valid output selected. Oh, we need to select copper again. So can we, oh, so one, two, three, uh, uh, so we'll go ahead and let's do that. So I want the four to be made and that's going to take 32. So let's, uh, grab a piece of coal out of here and then bring that up and over and we'll tuck that right in there. Let's see if that goes in and there we go. All right. So let's try that again. So now we've got 64 of 32 needed. So let's go ahead and heat everything up. There it goes. Warming back up. And I imagine what we'll have to do is take one piece out, drop it, let the next piece come out. Or I don't know. We'll see what happens. I've never done this. It is taking a little bit longer to heat up. That's because probably we are using four more or quadruple the amount of ore we were using last time. So this is a pretty cool process. I like this. There's the smelter there. You can see it. And 80%, 90%, almost all the way up and smelt it all down here comes the first bar it looks like and almost filled up to the brim take that so it can start to make the next bar for us that's nice that's pretty cool and then that will give us what if i make four plus the two so we'll have six copper bars to make another instrument or weapon or whatever we want to make oh so it looks like ooh, let's watch these stack up okay so they're not going to stack okay they stack but not like high um they don't stack up height wise. So that's, thought that'd be pretty cool. You can get like 10 of them stacked up. So we'll come back over. We'll grab this next one. So I'd imagine there should be what, two more there. 
Bring this all the way over here. Drop that there. And then there should be one. Uh, I thought there should be one more. One, two, three. Oh, nope, we're right. Okay, so that's six total. All right, so we made all six of those bars. And how much coal did that leave us, just out of interest? Uh, do we use up all of our coal, too? So there's two, two units of coal left. Um, you can also, besides using coal, you can use wood, which looks like it starts with a little bit of wood right there. Um, we could slice this up, use this. There's some logs here we could slice up and use as well. Um, let's see. So we, we made ourselves a pickaxe. We smelted some ores down. Uh, let's go explore one more place. Um, did we go over there last time? I don't think we went all the way. I know we unlocked the portal. Let's, um... Let's just go and see what this house is over here as these trees start to render in over top of it. Maybe there's some ore or something we can mine. I would imagine throughout the map there's little things hidden that we could certainly find. There's a lady standing right here. Hello, lady. What are you doing? Uh, what do we got here? Just a little mound of dirt with some rocks on it. She's a villager. I shouldn't talk to strangers. Okay. That is good advice. Good advice indeed. This is just a little hut over here. I'm not seeing anything over there. I see, ooh, a little fire, so it looks habitated. Can we steal their wood? We cannot steal their wood. Darn, ooh, can we steal this wood? We could cut into planks, blah, 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 blah. There is a puppy over here. Hello, puppy, can we interact with you? Stop, fall, uh, will it follow us around? Let's see if it'll follow us around. No, not yet, okay, it says it will. Uh, who do we got in here? We got a friend in here, hello, friend. Uh, are you here to make a delivery? Well, of course I'm here to make a delivery. What do you want? I can make you anything a blast blacksmith can make you. Can I steal your bow? Oh, we cannot steal her bow. Oh, darn. Even though I saw a target. Yeah, there's a target back here. A couple targets. Uh, what do we got over here? See a doorway? This is in our tomb? That's eh, closed off, though. Eh, maybe that's something to do with the campaign. Darn, darn, darn. Well, this was a good episode. We uh, did a little mining, made ourselves a pickaxe as it gets foggy here again. So don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below on my little blacksmith shop what you think. So far, I'm liking it. I enjoy the mechanics. It's certainly an interesting game, and you can do a little bit of everything. A little exploring, a little mining and crafting. Hopefully, as the game progresses, I get more of a story in. That will be ooh, some deer. Uh, pretty cool. And if you don't mind, please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for coming out and watching the video today, and we'll see you in the next My Little Blacksmith Shop video.